Hey everyone, Sarah here with Kiwi Real Estate. So today I'm going to be talking about the housing market here in Riverton for January 2022. Let's get started. Okay, so again, we are going to be talking about the housing market here in Riverton for January 2022. In this first slide, you can see the daily snapshot of active listings here in Riverton. So we start on the 1st of the January 2022 and we end on the 31st. The black line is for 2021 and the blue line is for 2022. So we started off the year or the month with six listings. We had a little bit of fluctuation. It got up to 10, jumped around a little bit as houses went uh, either expired went under contract or were withdrawn from the market or were sold. We went back up here. We had another spike at 10 and then we finished the month at eight active listings here in Riverton. And the year before we finished the year at uh, the January 2021 with seven active listings. So this is a daily snapshot of the under contract properties. So these are properties that were under contract and stayed under contract throughout the whole month. We have fluctuations. So we start just over 40. So we have fluctuations because houses go from under contract to sold or for some reason they get withdrawn from the market or it moves from under contract back to active if something went along with the due diligence. So we started off with 42 under contract properties and we finished the month with 40. And again, for 2021, we started with 25 and we finished with 38. So pretty consistent with uh, the under contracts, which is nice to see. So let's now check out a comparison between Riverton and Bluffdale because Bluffdale is our neighboring city and it's a good one to compare it against. So again, active listings compared to Riverton to Bluffdale. So Bluffdale started just over 10. So let's say 11. But if you can see here, their previous year, so 2021 was actually better than 2022. Now, a lot of this I'm sure has to do with the fact that there is a lot of new building going on in Bluffdale. A lot is going on in Riverton, but a lot more is going on in Bluffdale, especially in 2021. So that's why they have their 2021 to be higher than their 2022. But it does finish the end of the month um, within one property of the month before, uh, the year before. Now we have the under contract properties. Now, one thing you'll notice here in Bluffdale is a huge difference between under contract properties in 2021 versus 2022. They're sitting consistently at the under contract properties at around 48, whereas they're just below 200 in 2021. Now, again, as I mentioned, Bluffdale has a huge amount of new builds going on and they get listed on the market before they even get started with the building sometimes, a lot of times. And they can be under contract for months um, or even over a year. So that's why it is completely flipped because of all of the new builds going on in Bluffdale. So yeah, it's a huge, high, high number of properties under contract that stay consistent through the month of January. And then obviously you can see here compared to Riverton, we got up to 42 properties under contract um, in 2022 and our highest, uh, our highest in 2021 was just below 30. So Bluffdale is still ahead of us as far as that goes um, because we are below the 45 mark in 2022 and they're just below the 50 mark in 2022. So this is a, the market statistics, again, just for Riverton. The average days on market, so once the property has been listed to sold, was 29. Now that is really good. One thing is typically in a regular market, you will see around 30 days from going under contract to closed, sold. Um, but because we have so many uh, contracts going under contract, they're waiving the home inspection, they're waiving the due diligence time frame, and they're closing sometimes less than 10 days. So that has brought the average days on market down significantly um, to other years. Not 2021, because again, that was a crazy year. But so average of 29 days on market is fantastic. The list price to sold price, you're looking at just under $2,000 difference. Again, that's really good um, because we have obviously been seeing in the past a huge amount of uh, increase in the sold price to list price because of all of the bidding wars, which is still going on now, but not as aggressive as they were in 2021. 
and the number of sales, a total of 29, which is uh, fantastic. 29 days average on market and 29 sales for uh, Riverton. So that's fantastic. So just in case you didn't know, I am part of a husband and wife team. My husband, Ken, and I work together within the real estate industry. We do, uh, we're Kiwi Real Estate Group. We also do Serving Utah Heroes, which gives back thousands to hero clients when they buy, sell, or refinance a home. So if you need to get hold of us, all our information is below this video, but there is our email address. Uh, reach out with any questions, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye.